I've been thinking that love's so hard When you turn the deck and get the lowest card And no one seems to know when it's sweet Mary Fisher lives in the high tower with her lover, my husband. She looks at love and sees that it is complicated. The more she has of Bobbo's body, the more she wants. She desires his good opinion, but she is no longer what she was. She is chipping and breaking, cracking and splitting. She must renounce love, but cannot. Because I stopped her, I the she-devil. And she needn't think I finished yet. I've only just begun. whilst you're at work. Yes, we do it all for you. Your shopping, your cleaning, your laundry. Our experts take care of everything, even take care of your kids. You'll enjoy I new I told you you could do it. New horizons. I could new never do it without you. <laughs> for your sake and for his sake and for their sake too. Call in at Vista Rose tomorrow. Fastest growing staff agency in town. Join us. Mad or something? Annie, just take that ball right away, darling. <laughs> She's to blame. I mean, that woman is absolutely mad. Your it's children. Worse than the children. Your, your children do exactly as they please. They take no notice of you at all. Get it away, That's Andy. That's very, very clever. They don't seem to take too much notice of you either. Yes, well, you're their father. So well, maybe they miss their mother. You always tell me Ruth was a bad mother. Better a bad mother than no mother at all. I'm going to work. Oh, darling, how can you say that? Very best to bring those children. Yeah, all right, all right, Mary, but just lay off the kids, okay, and lay off Ruth as well. God, you're always defending her these Only days. because you keep attacking her. Darling, darling, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. All right, all right, okay, okay. Oh, dear, I'm just not myself these days. I wish we were married. Mary, I can't get married until I'm divorced, and I can't get divorced until I have a wife to divorce. You can go to the court. Well, do you know where she's been for the last two years? She might be dead for all I know. Yes, I know. I'm just being silly. 
ever get so lonely when you're in town all the time? I have to work. Darling, couldn't we have a party? We never seem to entertain anymore. Mary, we have to consider the expense. I mean, for instance, him. Do you need him anymore? Garcia is indispensable, especially with your children being here. Mary, what have you done with your fingernails? Oh, I'd hate to see you let yourself go like this. I'm late. We've just had a call from Bobbo's office. Two temps. Splendid. What do they want? Part-time secretary and a computer operator. Oh, a computer operator? I might have just the woman. What about the secretary? Oh, I'd say, what about Elsie Flowers? No, no, that's fine, no. That's all you can tell me. Thanks so much. Bye. I'm a personnel expert. It's my business. <laughs> You're a funny one. What do you know about me, then? That you're a computer wizard. Which? That you had four sons by three different fathers. Yeah, one of them was a mistake. And that you did two years for fraud. It's just a simple hacking job. Nobody mentioned the Official Secrets Act. You wouldn't need to worry about that with this accountant. This is a straightforward case of fraud. Well, I'd have to get in there to install the software. I'd have to make a bent program. And the client's monies would be transferred to his deposit account? As soon as I can get the disks inserted. The ones with a fix in. But will there be any record left? I'll use a hidden code to lose the negative entries. It'll cost you. Don't worry about that. When can you get started? When do the auditors come in? Two months. Well, we better get weaving now. The only thing is, you'll have to plant me in there as a computer operator. Then I'll have access to the software. They mustn't know that I'm a programmer. They won't. It's an operator they're looking for. Perfect. This accountant, does he get his bank statements monthly? Yes. Be handy if it would change to three monthly, wouldn't it? It would. Thanks for the tip. All part of the service.
for arranging the nursing and all that. Oh, it's all part of the service. How is the child? Any change? There never is any change with an autistic child. No, of course not. God makes some dreadful mistakes. Well, it's up to us to correct them, isn't it? How are you getting on here? Oh, fine. I've accepted the fact that I can't have a singing career. Talent's no good without Nonsense. That. A woman can be whatever she wants to be. How? I may be able to help you. If you help me. Firstly, I want the joint deposit account converted to a three monthly basis. It's, it's easy. There's a little more to it than that. Signora. Yes. The maid has gone. I'm not surprised. Well, get another maid. What? No, it is impossible. Nobody will work here with the old lady and the children. I know what you're saying. But I didn't do it. Then who did? The cat. The cat? Yes. Mercy. Your cat. Seems like she's your cat now. Yes. We... Which? I heard that. Look, it's no good, Mary. You're going to have to put her in a home. Darling, I can't afford a home. What am I supposed to do? Her body's ageing, but her mind isn't. Too true it isn't. In order to get any peace, we'll have to keep her tranquilised. And if we do that, she becomes incontinent. <sighs> well, there's no perfect solution. I can't think about it anymore. Mary, she is your mother. You must care for her as she cared for you when you were helpless. I never cared for her. I wanted a boy. Oh, my God. Without a maid, what am I supposed to do about the beds? You'll have to make the beds yourself, like millions of other women. I don't know. I feel one should meet experience as it comes. Life's short. The things one regrets are not the things one did, but the things one didn't do. You don't think I was wrong, then? You've no idea how nice Bobo is. He's something really special. Really? It's more than just sex, you know. Is it love? I don't know. Oh, he's such a wonderful lover. What about your husband, Elsie? Oh, I love him. But I'm not in love with him, if you know what I mean. Yes, I do. He's nice. Well, I have to admit he's nice. But he doesn't fulfill me. We're all entitled to personal fulfillment. Aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Tell me what to do. What does Bob, I mean, Bobo, what does he feel about you? I don't know. Well, ask him. Oh, I couldn't. 
Well, have you told him what you feel about him? Oh, no, no, I couldn't. Why not? Well, I'd feel impertinent. Tell him you love him. But he's so somehow important. So are you. So you must say to him, Bobo, I love you. Otherwise, he may think you're just a... Uh, I mean, that you do this sort of thing all the time. He may not know how much it matters to you. Well, I don't want to frighten him off. <laughs> Elsie, how can telling a man you love him frighten him off? <laughs> felt like this for anyone before. Mm. I love you. What? I love you. Dear yeah, ask what the problem is, Sarah. Her speeds are excellent. She is well recommended. Well, that's as may be, but the girl is unbalanced. Really? Yes, really. And under the terms of your guarantee... May I remind you, no questions are asked and a replacement provided. That is quite correct, sir. Good. Am I speaking to Vista Rose herself? In person. Don't I know your voice from somewhere? Oh, I hardly think so, sir. Oh, it sounds familiar. Really? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> it reminds me of my mother. Oh, how nice of you to say so. Anyway, I've told her she has to go. And how did you take it? What do you expect with a woman? She turned on the waterworks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm sorry too. Look, you don't have any men on your books, do you? Oh, I'm afraid not, sir. Pity. Mr. Beeswell, Mr. Watt can't make lunch today, so I've made a reservation for four for one o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> to him. He said this is blackmail. <laughs> the man's a swine. Oh, thought you get on by sleeping with the boss. Get a rise or promotion or something. But you don't. You just get fired. It's a harsh world for a woman. <laughs> what makes it worse is I told my husband I was in love with Bobo. And what did he say? He said that's the last straw walked out on me. You poor thing. And now I realise it was him I loved all the time. Of course. Oh, I made such a mess of my life. Life is all lessons. The thing to do is to learn them in time to apply them. I suppose now you'd like to make a... A fresh start. Oh, yes. Somewhere far away and peaceful and full of handsome men. Where? New Zealand. Oh, I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. How could I afford the fare? How indeed. such a letter seriously. I think there's even a grain of truth in it. There usually is. Now, oh, Mary. I'm sorry, darling, but I can't help being upset. Why should she write claiming to be your mistress? Because uh, she's a typist. What? 
But you know what typists are like. They're always having fantasies about their boss. Are they? Yes. Mary, look, the girl is a nobody, and a malicious nobody at that. She's probably seen us together and is jealous of you. Oh, you think so? I'm sure so. Mary, how could you possibly let yourself get so upset over a letter? And how could you even think that oh, I would... Oh, darling, no. Bobo. Forgive me. Mary, I love you and oh. only you. Oh, I feel so guilty. And you are guilty, Mary Fisher. But you have yet to pay. in his name, which now holds one million pounds of his client's money. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be safe there. Not for long. Switzerland to open a bank account into which I transferred all the money belonging to Bobbo's clients. She then drew the money out and gave it to me. fly off to New Zealand, to her new life. A new woman, newly dressed and newly named, newly created by me. visit from a policeman today. Police? Uh, what did he want? He kept grilling me about Elsie Flowers, They're that typist. Yes, I do know. He was asking me questions about our relationship. Your relationship? Yeah. What was your relationship, Bobbo? Oh, Christ, Mary, don't you start. Listen, we promised always to be honest with each other. And I have been honest about things that are important. I have to know. Know what? You know what. Can't you just trust me? If you'll trust me. What do you want from me, Mary? I want the truth. All right, I slept with her, but it didn't matter. Oh. No, it doesn't matter. How often? But How often? I don't remember. You must remember. And doesn't keep count. Oh, countless times, then. Oh, God. Listen, Mary, at this moment in time, I need your support more than ever. Don't you think I need support? Of course you need support. Darling, you've no idea but what it is like. To me. I can't even... Listen, I Mary, listen! Even... Listen! Today, the auditors came in. They spent ages. I didn't understand it at first. Then, then, the policeman came in. I didn't like his tone at all. He kept inferring that... I was in cahoots with Elsie Flowers. Cahoots? It's up to some fiddle. You, you weren't, were you? Mary, of course I wasn't! Look, that's all over and it didn't matter anyway. If 
I've hurt you, I'm more than sorry. That's right. Because for me, you are the only woman in the world. Now, I need you. You did a runner, eh? Did what? Don't try to bluff it out. We know what happened. Bobo, what's he talking about? I've got absolutely no idea. I don't know. He's a little flower. I ran off with a ready. Where are you going to spend it then? South America? Bobo, don't. I don't understand any of this. It's like a bad dream. You've made a mistake. You know this. Mary, I love you. Come on, Squire. Come on, let's go. I love you. I love you. You do believe me, don't you? Yes, yes. Then please help me. Please. Some kids be good. But to carry on. Vista Rose is working all over the country. I didn't mean the agency. <laughs> Olga, I just wanted to say thank you. For what? You've changed my life. Not at all. You change your life, Mrs. Andrews. We can all change our lives if we really want to. <laughs> I shall think of you always. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Why must you leave? It is time. The next phase is about to begin. What do you mean, the next phase? Bobbo stands trial for fraud in September. That gives me plenty of time to work on the judge. Will I ever see you again? Never. In a few years, you'll pass me on the street and not even recognize me. I'll never forget you. I'll always recognize you. Oh, no, you won't.
Who are you? Polly Patch. Polly Patch? You sound like a nursery rhyme. I am the new nanny. How appropriate. Nanny! Eh? Yes. Discipline, that's what we need. Yes. Children should be neither seen nor heard. I remember that. I have heavy responsibilities and I cannot afford to be distracted. If the children make me cross, it might cost some poor wretch five years of his liberty. This is my wife, Lady Bissett. Polly Patch? Yes. Do you have your uh, references and certificates? Yes. Two A levels and a special certificate in childcare at advanced level. Oh, well, show them to me later. Let me show you your room. She's rather plain, isn't she? Plain? She's damned ugly. You, you think she's all right? I like ugly people. They're in touch with reality. Follow me. Incarceration is nine-tenths of the law. Is there any possibility of bail? We've applied, of course, uh, but frankly, the police have not been very cooperative. Mm. I'm afraid it's a very tricky case. Oh. Why did Bobbo ever allow himself to be led on by that hussy? Elsie Flowers. I'm afraid she's vanished. It's Bobbo's word against... against some rather incriminating evidence. I ought to warn you that uh, this could prove an expensive business. Just when my income sunk to its lowest level for years. Really? Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, my publishers rejected my last novel. Sales of the others have slipped and movie rights on the recent ones haven't been picked up. Well, the public is fickle. I had a million women readers. Have they changed? They still love a love story, surely. I think love is out and lust is in these days. Yes, well, I can't change my style. I'd rather sell one of the houses. You might have to sell all three. All three? If you want to save Bobbo. I'll do anything to save Bobbo. We'll do all we can. What are his chances? It depends on Judge Bishop. He's a man of absolute integrity, but he's also absolutely unpredictable. my papers. I must be able to anticipate popular reaction. Deal lightly with a rapist and they'll demand all sex offenders be castrated. Oh. On the other hand, deal harshly with a bigamist and they'll demand that the marriage laws be revoked altogether. Better be married twice than not at all. Am I right? Well, quite right. Sit down. What are you doing here? I'm the nanny. Yes, but why are you only a nanny? Now you've got your head screwed on. You know the score. And it strikes me that you are far more intelligent than you care to reveal. I just like working in a home environment. Oh, well... 
That's what holds women back everywhere. And I dare say it's just as well. I'm very happy here. Mm. I must say, you're the first home help to frighten Lady Bissell. Frighten her? Yes, yeah, she's in awe of you. You must have noticed. Well, she's in awe of me too, but that is understandable. Of course. Call her. Come on, call her. Give her a shout, like the lady summoning the servant. Lady Bishop. Go on again. again. Lady Bishop. <laughs> The judge asked me to call you. Peanut butter. What, dear? Have you told Polly my feeling with regard to peanut butter? Not yet, dear. Well, tell her. The judge has noticed that criminals uh, eat... I haven't noticed anything. Get it right. Statistics show that criminals... Statistics prove that people appearing in court on criminal charges have consumed unusually large amounts of peanut butter. Consequently, I will not have peanut butter in the house. I do not want my children growing up criminal. So, no peanut butter. Is that clear? No peanut butter in the house. That's clear. and they love. I was wondering, would you like me to bring them? Are you out of your mind? I'll get them to write. No, it's, it's best they just forget me. Oh, Bobbo. Well, I'm sorry, Mary, but you can't imagine what it's like being cooped up in here. I do. I imagine it all the time. I lie awake at night and think of you here. I stand at the window and look up at the sky and wonder if you two are looking. You can't see the sky from my cell. Well, time's nearly up. Yes, I know. It's dreadful, isn't it, having only 15 minutes when there's so much to say. Please, please, Mary. No, no, no. Not here. It's embarrassing. Okay, Tyler. Poor Bobbo. I almost feel sorry for him. I'm not all she devil. There is a little bit of me left still, woman. But that will change. I will mould a new image for myself. I will defy my maker and remake myself. I find acupuncture far safer than drugs for controlling pain. How did it help you? <laughs> it had no effect on me at all. You have the consolation of knowing that if you do proceed, you'll be making facial history. No one's ever considered having three inches trimmed from their jaw before. I do wish, though, that you'd think again about having little pearly teeth. They won't match your character. 
and I will change my character to fit the teeth. I think you are wrong about peanut butter. Wrong? No doubt people appearing in court may have consumed unusually large amounts of peanut butter. But surely the butter is consumed in prison during the long period of awaiting trial. In my view, peanut butter has nothing to do with criminality and your children could eat it quite safely. You are the first person to detect the fallacy in the argument. <laughs> but why do you persist in preaching the fallacy? Reductio ad absurdum. <laughs> You would not believe the absurdities I have to listen to in court. It was a defending counsel who first advanced the peanut butter theory in mitigation, and I've been quoting it ever since. Other barristers blame unemployment, lead poisoning, inadequate education for their clients' villainy. Utter absurdity. But nobody ever questions them. My wife never questions me. But you do. I'll be getting a set of false teeth soon, as a temporary measure. What a pity. I rather like the whole. It's so exhilarating to meet someone who responds to what you say, rather than to what you are. If I hadn't married Lady Bishop, I believe I would have chosen someone like you. I feel you would understand my needs. A judge has to be cool and impartial. The passing sentence on people builds up sadistic energies. Sadistic sexual energies, which must be released for the good of society. I must be passionate to be dispassionate. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say, as a writer who's always done his best to be romantic, it's a great pleasure and privilege to be asked to present this award. And this year's winner of the lavish £25,000 Romantic Novel Award, Virginia Flank for Well Met by Moonlight. writing is that she not only gives us the most marvelous plots full of passion and suspense but she gives us a message a real message of love and purity in her life as well as in her writing Virginia Frank is a model to the women of the world <laughs>
calles de la tierra. Mary Fisher. Mary Fisher. Do you recall the old carefree days? The days of unlove. You longed for love. You celebrated love. And now, it is destroying you. Where's Polly this morning? I let her go off for an appointment. You know she's planning to have three inches... taken off her jawbone. With her face, you'd still look like Frankenstein. Better too much than too little. It's easier to abstract than to add. You don't think she'll go putrid, do you? Shouldn't think so. Of course, we'll have to fly her over to California for it. Couldn't we do it here? Oh, you haven't seen my new clinic there. Her heartbeat is very slow, isn't it? Almost out of normal range. Well, better too slow than too fast. And a remarkably low blood pressure. All to the good. Splendid piece of machinery. Especially with a new chassis. We can change everything but the hands. They remain as evidence of our heredity and our past. Then I shall wear gloves. Tell me, um, is this what you really want? I mean, it's so fantastically expensive. Money doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, what you're paying could buy you a hundred men. I, if it, that's what you want. I don't want to buy men. Marlena, what do you want? I want to look up to men. That is what I want. Well, when can we start? Loyalty in women is an amazing thing. The worse the man, the blinder the woman. Now take this accountant, chappy. The fraud case. Left his wife and children to shack up with a rich woman, a novelist, and had an affair with his typist, and hatched a plot to fiddle millions of his clients' money to start a new life with the typist. Came unstuck when the typist ran off with the money, leaving him to face the music. <laughs> now, after all that, the novelist is paying every penny she has to get him off. That Thank is you. the prosecution case. Yes, damn strong case it is too. Although he did deliberately burn down his family house and all his personal files. He sounds a very distasteful and dangerous man. How long will you give him? Oh, uh, a year or so? 
a year or so. <laughs> you will never be Lord Chief, just as if you are so lenient. He is a middle-class man accustomed to good living and high social station. A year in prison for him is equal to five for anyone else. And bear in mind the humiliation he suffers. The loss of friends, career, pension, everything. Disagree. Do you? Ordinary people are impetuous and err by accident. The middle class err by design. Therefore, the penalties should be doubled, not halved. <laughs> Listen to what I say. accountant two years not enough four years not enough six years not enough not enough for what not enough for my purposes how long will be how long Seven years. I wanted Bobbo to receive a long sentence because my sentence was long. I wanted him put on ice until I was ready for him. It seems 